Hello everyone, it's Valerie Scott here from St John's Foot Clinic in Woking and Undeniably Podiatry in Reading. I'm going to talk to you about doing a salt water foot bath. Now, this is the sort of thing that you commonly might be doing following nail surgery when I've asked you to do some salt water foot baths at home, principally aimed at keeping the wound clean and free of infection. You can also use a salt water foot bath, um, usually as directed by your podiatrist, for other conditions that might be infected. Anyway, this is really, really easy, but I thought I'd show you because I often get asked questions about it. So first of all, take a clean basin of water. In this basin, I've half filled this with kind of warm water. The temperature doesn't really matter. Just go for it, whatever suits you. You don't want it to be too hot though, or else you might scald yourself. So basin half full of water and add salt to it. So I'm going to say to you, add a couple of tablespoons of salt. And here I am, literally with salt from my kitchen cupboard, adding it in. One. I'm going to do two good tablespoons of salt, just like that. I'm going to mix it up going to dissolve it in there and then you are going to do your salt water foot bath. So if you've already got a dressing on your toe, take it off. Don't play around with the wound or anything like that. Take the dressing off and pop your whole foot into the basin. Let me get rid of that out of the way. Okay, so here we are. This is pretend um, my toe that needs a salt water foot bath, popping my whole foot in. In it goes, gotta say that's lovely. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna keep your foot in there, just leave it in there for um, four to five minutes. You don't really want to go any longer than that and you're gonna get pruned skin. It's not necessary and you don't need your wound to be overly moist. So I'd say four to five minutes. Anyway, it's quite nice. I just kind of give your foot a little swish around in there. So pretend for the purposes of this video that four to five minutes have elapsed. So what you want to do then is take your foot out of the water and think at this point about keeping your wound as clean as possible. So when you take your foot out of the water like this, dry the rest of your foot off with a towel or something like that. I've got paper towels, that's all I've got in the clinic really. But just dry your foot with a towel. I don't want you to actually dry your toe or your toe wound with a paper towel. I want you to keep that as clean as possible. Now the best way to do that is to let it air dry. Okay, so I'm just kind of going a little bit in between my toes there. And I'm leaving my big toe because I'm pretending that's the one that I've got the dressing on or that's the one that I'm doing the salt water foot bath for. Um, so let that air dry and if you're in a hurry my tip to you is to get a hair dryer and just air dry or hair dry your, your toe um, that requires the dressing. So your salt water foot bath is done and it's as simple as that and um, from there really you'll be putting your dressing on. So I have another video uh, that shows you how to put a dressing on. So go and look that up next if you need to. So that's it for me from now. And I'll say goodbye. And um, if you need me, you know I'm based at St John's Foot Clinic in Woking and undeniably podiatry in Reading. Take care then, bye.